Welcome back to Boring Build Friday. We're working on our 2004 Chevy Silverado once again. We got our cab off of our parts truck, we got our cab off of our builder, we swapped over the dash and the wiring. It's time to put our cab back on this truck. If you want to catch up because this all sounds unfamiliar, the link's up there. Let's get our cab on. So now we're going to drop the body back down in the frame. I did end up having to use the mounts out of the parts truck. The two years had different mounts. The 06 cab uses bigger bolts. So I just changed the mounts and bolts, used them all out of the 06. They fit fine in the 04. Install our shifter cable. Install the e-brake cable. Goes together easier and it comes apart. Now I can install the heater hoses. They just clip in. And the AC lines, bolt them in. Now it's time to install the doors. I need a little practice before the big race. Lift them into position. Line up the pins. And set them down. Then bolt them up. These are nice and easy, no aligning, everything fits. We'll plug in our wires on the driver's side. The passenger side, we're gonna have to change the harnesses. So now onto the front end. Slide the master cylinder in. Bolt it up. Put our vacuum line on. Put our ground strap on. Plug in our throttle control module. And we put our cluster back in. I'm gonna put the door on the parts truck. I did end up putting this back together just enough to make it drivable. Put the two fenders on, the hood on, hooked up the electrical wires just so I can move it around. I might have some future plans for this truck. Now I'm gonna take the door apart, get everything I need out of it. The door module, wiring harness, mirror, all that stuff is different on the original truck. It's got some aftermarket speakers. Take those out too. Oh, the afternoon crew showed up. So now we're going to install the steering column. Much easier job with two people. Bolt it up, plug it all in, and put our knee bolster back on. Screw our BCM bracket back in. Now it's time to put the fenders on.
Bolt them all back up. Now onto the other side. Relining panels is easier when you get two people. One to hold it in place, one to tighten it up. So now that our front end's together, bolt in our electrical box, plug it all in. Snap it in. Now we can drop the battery tray in. This is the right way? Yep. <laughs> Bolt it down. Put the cover back on the electrical box. Drop the battery in. Tighten it down. Tighten up the terminals. Now I put the brackets in for the fender. Bolt them to the firewall. Got my fender. Now put the overflow bottle in and the airbox tray. Bolt them all in. Now you drop the airbox in and the intake tube. Now we can put the hood on. Should be pretty easy, nothing to align, because of the way we took it apart. So we just put the bolts in that are shouldered, put the nuts on the end and tighten them up. Now you can put the springs in that hold the hood up. Need a taller afternoon crew. Okay. Now we can throw the front bumper on. Just slides in. And then six bolts. Now for the first race of today, a bonus race. I'm gonna put the brackets in for the fenders. It's my friend the train cheering me on. Now back to the interior, we put our seat pillar trim back on, bolt our seat belt up, put the rear cab trim on, now we put the jack and the tools in. And somewhere along the line, I put the seats in. And put the B pillar trim on. And I put the front seats in. Console goes first. Okay. Is it lined 
up on that side. Yep. In. Now put the driver's seat in. We'll see about this. <laughs> I know, I'm very scared. We're going to attempt to put the passenger seat in. The truck gears are different. The wiring and modules on the seat might be different. We're going to find out. Put the top dash cover on just to get it out of the way. Now we're going to pull the filler neck out. Take the bed cover off. Couple of bolts in the front. And it just lifts off. It's actually kind of heavy. Pull the tail light out. We're doing all this so that they can paint the bedside. Had a little damage on it and a big scratch. Pull that bracket off. Now we can remove the tailgate. Straps off, lift the gate off. Now we can unbolt the bed. It's only six bolts. It's a short bed, really short. So the rear two, you access through the frame rails. And the front two, just have perches. I can lift the bed off. We need to take the bed off so you can paint behind the bumper. And we're going to paint that C pillar on the driver's side. So in order to paint around the back of the cab, we need the bed out of the way. Now we're going to pop the cover off the top of the bed rail. It takes a lot of time not to break every single one of these clips. Since the bed's off, we're going to coat these brake lines with wax just to keep them from corroding. Fight some of that Illinois corrosion. Well, it looks like the painting gnomes dropped by last night, so now we can put our truck all back together. But first, I want to wash off the back of the cab. Yeah, wash. Am I on the right channel? We're going to clean it up because we're never going to see it again. Score another one for the clean freaks. It had a lot of the soap from the overspray mask. And there was a lot of dirt built up in there. So, figured I'd clean it up. So now it's time to set the bed back on. Add some towels on the bumper just to keep it from scratching the edges of the bed. Bolt our bed back down. Let the afternoon crew put the tailgate on.
I'll give her a little assistance. I'll put the bed rail cover on. It was on much easier than it comes off. Two tabs at each end, just line them up. And install. Put our cover rail back on there. And put our bed cover back on. Set the front down into place. Open it up to make sure it's positioned in the right spot, front to back. Push down. I'm trying. Then tighten up the thumb screws in the front. Okay. Now you can throw our filler knock back in. Put our gas cap back on. Didn't drop any screws in there. Now we're going to change our marker lights slash fishbowls. These are pretty cloudy and full of water. So I had an extra set. So we'll throw them in there along with some new bulbs. Snap them into place. Uh, you can put new headlights in. I spray painted the front, that bracket, and the trans cooler, along with the condenser. It was kind of dull. The sun fades out to black. So while the grill is off, just spray canned it real quick. So when we put the grill back on, it won't be bare metal. Actually aluminum, but it looks more like it's supposed to. Snap the grill in. Put the closeout panel on and all the little clips. Now we're going to swap the taillights. Our parts truck had much nicer taillights. So I'm going to change the left one. The right one's already out, so we'll just use the parts truck one instead. Clip them in there. Slide it in and screw them in. Onto the passenger side. I'll put the third brake light in, the cargo light. Screw it in. Uh, check and make sure all lights work. You got parking lights, left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, reverse lights, cargo lights. Got to make sure all this stuff works for the safety test. So we got a little work done this week, but that's all we have time for. Next week, we're going to get this truck all finished up and get it back on the road. So tune in, see how it goes. Find out what parts of this build I don't like, because I put them all off till the end. So like this video if you found it interesting, share it if you think somebody else might, subscribe to see the rest of this build. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Now on to the big race. This is the parts truck. As you can see, I got the dash in it. Put our wrecked doors on the other side. The fenders and the hood are held on with a few bolts. Get this way. Get this way. Just enough wiring to make it run, and a steering shaft and brakes. About all it has, but it moves under its own power.
interesting method. I've never used my foot before, but learn something new all the time. They were close. They had the upper hinge on. They just needed to move it around and get the lower pin to drop on. I did my part. I did what you said. Just put it up. There it goes. Can I get it? Score one for the old man.